He did a nice job settling in. Uh, you know, unfortunately, like most of his starts early on, he's he accrues a, a higher pitch count. And um, but you know, innings three, four, and five, the breaking ball was sharp. The split was back. Fastball was good. Um, still taking some good swings on him, but uh, you know, he really settled in nicely. And you know, it's just one of those things where where his pitch count was up. We're at at that point in time. Just can't run him back out there for the six, but. Um, I thought, yeah, he did a nice job, obviously, you know, leaving the game with the lead and, and settling in nicely. With the bullpen, and, and as much as we talk about him as a collector, we've seen maybe a couple uh, pitchers in specific. What was missing, I guess? You know, I, I think that, you know, Huddy left a breaking ball that was up to Cronenworth. I, I thought outside of that he was good. Um, you know, Braves tonight, I just didn't think he was sharp, um, to be quite frank. Uh, and then I thought Yarbs did a really nice job in that 10th, and uh, he's going to be pitching a lot of innings here, you know, one of these days in the next series. Um, so to come out of essentially having a bullpen and, and giving us innings huge, and then Alex did a nice job until you know he gets count leverage to uh, Merrill, and you know, you've just got to expand right there, and um, you got to take advantage of count leverage, and we didn't do that tonight. What can't have to say in the show of the sort of settle just this um, You know, I don't, I don't know that answer. Um, you know, it's, uh, I, I don't know that answer. Um, he's still trying to, you know, feel his way. I think it's only been four starts. So I, I don't know why that first couple of innings, why the pitch count gets up and he sort of settles in as the game progresses. Um, yeah, I, I will, we'll kind of dig in on that, but I don't know that answer right now. That's open to everybody. You want to kind of save him first. Yeah, but. yeah. He's going to do some length uh, here coming up. It was basically it was available for any potential. What do you think of the uh, kind of the imagined the innings? You know, I, I just thought that you know at times we're very good at <clears throat> collecting hits and keeping the line moving, and then you know it just seemed to me in the later innings we just got big. We expanded the zone, and, and our swings got bigger. And you know, when all you need is a base hit or control the strike zone and, and we didn't do a good job of that. You know, we, we caught a lead, um, but uh, as they found their way back in, you know, we could have done a better job to finish them off. And then we asked about Chris before, but obviously over today, like, what did you sort of think of the about today? Was there any thought of changing for them there in that spot? With who? Uh, with Jamel, just the lefty. Because he's lefty? Yeah. yeah, no. Um, you know, he's got to find his way. Uh, he'll, he'll be down tomorrow and Kiki will be in there, but uh, you know, Chris has come up with big hits, so you, you got to uh, you know ride the guys, and you got to kind of run them out there, and uh, hopefully they find their way. Uh, he took a ball off the, I think it was one the index finger maybe of his throwing hand, and uh, I don't think it was too serious, but just for precautionary. They, they, uh, he finished the inning, I think, and then uh, he was down, so um, certainly abbreviated. Yeah, what was like sort of Steve Show make on match like in this week just for most home runs ever for a Japanese one player in Major League Baseball? Yeah, Shohei is uh, he, he's doing it, man. He, he's playing great baseball. Um, he's got that look in his eye uh, like he wants to be at the plate, um, and he's just taking really good swings, hitting everything hard, and um, yeah, I just marvel at you know what he's done, you know each day in his preparation and just the talent is something that's that's pretty uh, you know pretty remarkable. You had four big sluggers. I'll give you home runs today. Does it feel like no lead is insurmountable in the lineup? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I think that for us, it's you know you know whether you're a starter, you're a reliever, it's just kind of minimizing damage because if you can do that with our offense, you know we're in every ball game, and so. You know, that's something that you know, if you look back at some of the games that we haven't won, you know, we've uh, given up crooked numbers uh, in certain innings. That's kind of prevented us from winning a ball game. But uh, yeah, with this offense, we're always in it. Did Shohei seem unburdened today? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he really seemed like just like he always has each day, and uh, it's a credit to him that uh, he's really unflappable. He really is. Yeah. 
they, your offense is obviously very explosive, but what's the learning lesson for today? Um, the learning lesson, you know, I think it's, it's, it's a couple things. You know, I think that, you know, guys aren't always going to pitch well. Um, you know, we got to minimize damage, and I think that offensively, it's just uh, just continue to stay with our approaches, you know, regardless of the inning, the game score, uh, just continue to take quality at bats. And I just thought tonight we got bigger with our swings as the game went on. So I still got a couple more days till 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 my record's broke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks.